Hey again, it's your expert tumble guard tracker, Eric Zubik here. First time in a while we are back with yet another Lost Tumble Guards. Alright, you saw the past Sunday's episode. Oh, you know that we have one guard to cover. Well, let's review the route for those of you who did not see the episode. So, or maybe want to recap. Let's get to it. The route started on the Crystal Cenote, obviously, as wherever the route starts. And Spider Lair was open. Spider's Lair was open. Room of the Beloved was the door that opened. I mean, possibility could have been the Royal Rage Room, but I don't know if that would have been the... In... Who knows? But yeah, the first Tumble Guard was in the Room of the Beloved. Kind of called it when I was watching the episode, honestly. <laughs> Trying to Silver Monkey, I think, had... Nothing. Steamy Hollows? Oh, the first player had a problem with the Steamy Hollows a little bit. And the Queen's Armory was where the second guard is. I think the last guard might be in the Dark Forest, to be honest. The second player could not recover. Or, and I think he was too slow to get to the last guard, possibly. So, but yeah, comment if you think that ink otherwise, because the Crypt of the Heartless was out of play. And anyway, it's either the Royal Rage Room or the Dark Forest. O odds are the Dark Forest, because it was nighttime, and it makes perfect <laughs> sense once you think about it. And that's the first. And this is the first time in Tumble Guard in Legends of Hidden Temple history they put an artifact in the pit. Never did it with Kirk Fogg. Anyway, this has been Eric Zubik signing off for now. See you guys next time I see you.